Well, the St. Vincent Indians have spelling mastered, but how will they look on the football field this fall? That's what I'm here to find out. My name's Glenn Johnson, and I'll be giving you a look inside the St. Vincent football training camp. After a strong start last year, the Indians finished on a three-game losing streak to end at 4-6, and six, missing the playoffs for the second straight year. Head coach Paul Sauer says finishing games was the issue. As the season progressed, you know, our uh, we were probably uh, one of the best first or second half teams I've ever had you know it seems like we could only play 24 minutes and of course the ball games are 48 so uh, you know it just seemed like we couldn't finish the game our six losses well we were leading in three of them at halftime so you know if we could hold on to them obviously it's a much better season. One of the team captains is Dylan Rasherity who was frustrated by last year's failures late in games. Well we gotta quit giving up we get a touchdown or two deficit and we just we're done we can't we can't do that and I mean, we just got to push through it and find a way to win games this year and team captain jesse francis is a wide receiver and defensive back and he was another one of the team leaders with a bitter taste in his mouth i asked him how to fix their biggest problem you just play hard you play through the whole game you don't give up in the first half you play through the second half all the way through you don't quit. Many of the players on the team feel that this group has turned the corner and will close out games better this season. Lucas Carroll is a senior offensive and defensive lineman. He says if the offseason is any indication, then they'll be much improved. We need to keep up the intensity we had in the offseason. We did really good in the offseason. We are in the weight room. We ran. We sprint. So if we can keep up the intensity offseason and transfer that into the on season, we'll be really solid, I think. Coach Sauer agrees with Carroll and says it's been a productive camp. Well, the last couple of days, of course, it's been warm, but uh, you know, the kids are energetic. They're enthusiastic about this upcoming season, and uh, you know, we've gotten a lot done. Injuries have plagued St. Vincent over the past couple of years, especially at the quarterback spot. Coach Sauer's hoping whoever starts can stay healthy this year, but they have some options. Well, we're looking at Trent Elder. Uh, he played wide receiver for us last year, and, and uh, he had played a uh, little bit of quarterback for us as a freshman and sophomore. And, and uh, you know, Nathan Carroll is a, a junior that uh, played quarterback on our junior varsity last year, and, and they both got a shot at it. You know, uh, uh, it's going to be the one that's most consistent, and and uh, hopefully it's a good battle back and forth, and they push each other, and, and whoever the winner is 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 uh, you know definitely outstanding. Lucas Carroll will have the duty of protecting the quarterback, so we asked him how Trent Elder was coming along. He's been doing real good. He gets out there and he throws the ball a lot. He tries real hard. He's a solid athlete. I think that we're going to get good things out of him this year. As far as the backfield goes, Dylan Rasherity is the fullback in Coach Sauer's offense, and he believes the touches will be spread around. Well, Coach Greg says that it will be more balanced between me and Alex Winkler, and Obviously, we're going to have a lot of passing, too, so I think we'll be balanced overall. And while Winkler may be the favorite to start at tailback, Coach Sauer says that's actually one of the more intriguing position battles this summer. Well, you know, I see us, uh, you know, a battle for a starting job as a, a tailback. You know, we've got uh, quite a few kids, uh, Alex Winkler uh, that played a little bit last year, Dylan Rasherity at fullback and, and uh, Levi Gottel and uh, Lucas Janet, a, a gentleman that started with us last year and, and ended up uh, uh, deciding not to play last year and, and he's back at it this year. So hopefully, uh, you know, we have a really good battle there for a starting tailback job. It all starts with the offensive line, though, and St. Vincent has been notoriously small along the line for, well, ever. Senior Lucas Carroll says what they lack in size, they make up for in quickness. That's exactly what we're thinking. We're going to try and use our speed in order to get quick punches in and drive them back, beat them off the ball and use that to our advantage. And then there's the defensive side of the ball. Coach Sauer is liking what he sees early on. Defense tends to usually be ahead of the game uh, when you start start the season so you know we're we're hoping that we can be pretty tough defensively at the start of the season most of the senior leadership for st vincent is on the defensive side of the ball including dylan Rasherity, who tells us just what kind of safety he is more of a coverage i think i mean i'm not the hardest hitter i won't put anybody on their backside but I'll get the job done, hopefully. Another defensive back is Jesse Francis, who relishes his role as a leader in the defensive backfield. He tells us how he's set an example for the younger guys so far this summer. Work hard and show that you can work hard. Let them see you, even as younger players. 
they see you, they're going to want to play just as hard as you are. As far as what they're working on in camp, Sauer says a little bit of everything, including some offensive packages. We ran some offense last night. Uh, you know, what we do is not real fancy, and, and uh, you know, we're getting back to basics this year, and, and hopefully, uh, uh, you know, we'll be able to get most of our offense installed. And that'll be the first step towards getting back to prominence for the St. Vincent Indians, who won the Class 1 state title as recently as 2004. Their success has made them a football school, and Lucas Carroll is proud of that. We take a lot of pride in it, and we try and make sure that we can get the fans involved and try and keep everybody happy in the school. You can hear more from St. Vincent during the Pigskin Preview coming up on Wednesday, August 22nd, where we talk to each of our area coaches one last time before the season starts on the 24th. For Regional Radio Sports, I'm Glenn Johnson.